All right, what up, too? Um, got my rears back. Got those taken apart. Um, well, at least the tires taken off. I'm about to get ready to uh, split these rims and uh, get ready to get them primed and prepped for paint. So stay tuned. I'll be right back at you. All right, too. Um, got uh, this is the front rims. Um, they're split apart, and uh, they've been sandblasted. I didn't sandblast the uh, other lip, so that's over there right now with the uh, centers. Those are all over there right now too. So I'm um, using a Duplicolor um, spray system uh, for just the priming part, and then I'll spray it with my gun, the paint and the clear. Um, but um, getting ready to do the um, epoxy primer and then high bill primer, then I'll just seal it. Um, and then I'm just going to do a high build primer on this. I got this all scuffed down, so I'm gonna do a high build and um, uh, seal it after I sand it all down. Um, some of the spots that you see on here, that's why I'm gonna put a little filler in to even it out. Um, but yeah, just stay tuned, tube, and uh, I'll get at you. All right, what up, tube? Um, getting ready to uh, get some work done. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I had to put the old wheels back on um, since I uh, took the rears off and they're getting sandblasted. Should have them uh, Monday, but I'm getting all this stuff prepped out. Um, I told you I was uh, going to use the aerosol spray. Uh, they got epoxy on there or the um, uh, etch primer on there. But I didn't like the way it was spraying. So now I'm gonna just hang them up. I got these two um, inner barrels hung up. I gotta hang up the outer barrel. Um, I'm gonna try to get it all prepped out um, to spray the epoxy um, by Monday. So I'm just getting it all prepped out, getting it all hung up. Uh, I'm gonna hang those. I'm gonna wait till I get the other ones back. Then I'll hang the um, other front barrel, the four inner pieces. And then um, I also have the inner and outer barrels for the rear that I got to get hung up. So that's going to be the agenda for the day. And then uh, show you all something. Then I'll, I'll be uh, getting this. These are already prepped out. These are the bolts. The bolts to the rims. They're getting prepped out right now. Um, I'm also spraying these, the uh, bronze color. Those are my hood pans. Um, all the bolts, they're getting scuffed down with the red scratch bright. And I'm going to go ahead and hit that with the um, the can um, today. I'll probably hit all that today with the can um, etch primer. So, you see what I'm at? See what I'm doing? Stay tuned. I'll come back at y'all. All right, what up, too? Um, got the uh, the bolt sprayed. Um, I just used the rest of what I had in that can. Um, and then I'm going to actually use that as like kind of a color match. Shouldn't be too far off or anything like that. But um, I still got to clear coat them. I'm going to use can clear coat. But you can get an idea of how that bronze, how those bolts are shining. Um, I also did the valve stems as well. Came up pretty good, so yeah, I'm gonna um, get ready to clear it. Um, let that sit up out here in the sun all day, and then uh, time I'm ready to boil everything up, they should be hard enough and dry and everything. So, but yeah, stay tuned too. I'll come at you. All right, this is after uh, a couple coats of clear. I like the way they came out. Got that bronze to it. Got that sparkle to them. You can see them. Got that sparkle to them and that bronze. So yeah, I'm done with these. I'm gonna let these sit out. I'm getting uh, my uh, rims prepped. Um, I still have the seam the the sealer in there I'm gonna leave that on 
And then um, I'm going to put some more sealer on it after I put the rims on and getting them torqued down. Uh, put more sealer just to make sure that, you know, they don't lose any air. But uh, red scotch brightness, I'm going to hang them up in the, uh, in the garage and go from there. So, yeah, just stay tuned to it.